Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we're going to look at some coin questions, some pre-algebra word problems involving coins. Let us begin. Some important information that you need to know about coins is that a quarter is worth 25 cents, a dime is worth 10 cents, a nickel is worth five cents, and a penny is worth one cent. Those are the coins that we're going to be using for these word problems. They are common coins for using in North America. And um, although it doesn't include all the different types of coins, it's the main types of coins that will be in questions for these types of word problems. So if I have five dimes and three quarters, how much money do I have? That's the type of question that you may be asked with coins. It's the first basic type of question. First off, I have to figure out how much money is five dimes worth. And then I have to figure out how much money three quarters is worth. Five dimes, remember a dime is 10 cents each. So to figure out the amount of five dimes, you do five times 10 cents. So you have five dimes that are worth 10 cents each you would have a total of 50 cents. If you had three quarters, that's three coins that are worth 25 cents each. So three times 25 would leave you with 75 cents. So I have 50 cents in quarters and 75 cents in, or 50 cents in dimes and 75 cents in quarters. When I add those together, 50 cents plus 75 cents, I get 125 cents, which is the same thing as $1.25. That's how we would solve a question, figuring out how much money we have. The other type of question we might be asked, crumple that up, is if in my pocket I have 15 coins, pennies and quarters. If I have two pennies, how many quarters do I have? This type of question sort of doesn't really even need to know that how much money a penny is worth and how much a quarter is worth. All we're asking is a total number of coins. It could be the same question if you had like three green jelly beans and you know or 15 total jelly beans and their colors were green and red. You're just trying to find two different quantities. So the important information is that you have a total of 15 coins, you've got two pennies, and you don't know how many quarters you have. We could write out an equation here. The total minus the number of pennies will equal the number of quarters. So we'll say 15 total minus our two pennies leaves us with 13. And that's the number of quarters that I have. I have 13 quarters. Now in our last question, we're going to combine together the type, two types of questions that we've just done here. Figuring out how many coins we have and then figuring out the total amount of money. So if you could figure out both of those types of questions, combine them together and then you've got this. I have quarters and nickels in my piggy bank. If I have 20 nickels and half that amount of quarters, how much money do I have? So there's going to be two basic steps to this. Number one, figuring out how much, how many quarters you have and how many nickels you have. And then after that, figuring out how much money for each amount you have. So let's work through this entire problem. Starting at the beginning, what is it that the question's asking? It's asking how much money do I have? So throughout the problem, we're going to do several different steps. It's going to be done in increments. And we have to keep our eye on the prize. We have to remember that the final answer is how much money I have. And I need to stay focused on that, answering that, not stopping halfway through. It's important that we know what we're looking for. So we're going to give that a variable. We're going to call the total amount of money that I have M. So our question then is the total amount of money I have in nickels plus the amount of money I have in quarters equals M. That's setting up the equation. That's my equation kind of written out. So now we're going to go back and figure out how much money in nickels we have and then how much money in quarters we have and that will give us our total amount. Let's do it. 20 nickels at 5 cents each. That's the amount of money I have in nickels. 
20 nickels times 5 cents makes 100. That's how much money I have in nickels. I have 100 cents. How much money do I have in quarters? Well, first off, I have to figure out how many quarters I have because it's not said directly. I had 20 nickels and half that amount of quarters. So to find out half, I would take 20 and divide by 2. This type of question could be, I have three times as many, or I have three less, or four more. Either way, what you're going to do is use the math operation to find out the number of, in this case, quarters that we have. So in this case, I'm saying I had 20 nickels, half that amount of quarters, so I'm taking 20 divided by 2 to tell me that I have 10 quarters. I'll take that 10 quarters and multiply it times 25 cents to figure out that I have 250 cents in quarters. Now, that is not the end of my question. Remember, I am trying to solve how much money I have. So I have to take the amount I have in nickels and add it to the amount I have in quarters to get my full amount. And that's where this is becoming a little bit complicated because there's lots of steps and we have to remember each different type of step. So the amount in nickels, I had 100 cents in nickels. I had 250 in quarters. So I add them together and I get 350. Wow, I'm super rich. I've got 350. But that's 350 cents. So it's only actually $3.50. So... It's not quite as rich as I might have thought. All right. So in word problems, remember to keep all of your steps pretty clear and separate in your mind. You're going to identify what the question's asking. Name your variables. Set up your equation. How am I going to actually solve it? Then solve it and check to make sure it's reasonable. At the end, if I thought I had $350 in that last question, that might have been a little silly with just coins in a piggy bank. All right? So remember those steps, and you will do great. Hope this lesson was helpful for you, and have a wonderful day.